All right, so let's take a look at these problems right here. So for these practices, I want you guys to only practice the ones when you're subtracting a negative and skip all the ones that has subtracting a positive. All right, so let's go ahead and try this problem right now. So I have three positive counters. So I have one, two, three, and I want to take away six do uh, or six negative counters. Or if you want to think of it in terms of money, you want to take away six dollars of debt, but you don't have six dollars. You can't take away six dollars of debt because there's no negative counters. So what can you do? You can add six zero pairs, four, five, six, and what do you do? And now I can take away. Subtraction means take away take away six negative counters. So I can take away one, I can take away one, two, three, four, five, six. And what's remaining? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so my answer is nine. And so once again, if you take a look, what is three plus nine? Or what is three plus six? Three plus six is nine. So subtracting a negative is actually the same thing as just adding a positive. And remember, just taking away debt. I want you guys to think about taking away debt. How do you take away debt? You have to add money. So if I want to take away $6 of debt, what do I have to do? I just have to put six more dollars into my bank account, which means I just add $6. So my answer is going to be nine here. All right, so let's try this one here. So I start with seven negative counters. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I want to take away three negative counters. So how do I take it away? Take away one, two, three. And what's remaining? I have four negative counters. So my answer is negative four. So my answer is negative four. This one's a little bit more intuitive here. All right, let's try. Uh, we already did this problem or did this type of problem, but let's do it again. So I have eight dollars of or eight positive counters one two three four five six seven eight and I want to take away three negative counters so what do I need to do to add three zero pairs remember this entire thing is equal to eight and this is equal to zero eight plus zero is just eight so this entire thing right now is equal to eight and now what are we going to do we're going to take away three negative counters so we're going to take away three negative counters one, two, three, take that away. And what do I have? I have 11. Voila. Um, so this one too, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take away four negative counters. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four. And what's remaining? I have three negative counters. And so my answer is negative three. Oops. My answer is negative three. All right. Um, and then this one, I want you guys to skip anything that's subtracting a positive. I want you guys to skip that uh, because we've already done those. All right. Um, let's do the last one here and I think we'll be good with this one. So I have two positive counters. I have one, two, and I want to take away eight negative counters. So how do I do? How do I take away eight negative counters? I have to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero pairs. And then I take away eight negative counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what's remaining? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Voila. Two plus eight is what? Ten. Two minus negative eight is what? Ten. So that's my answer for this uh, problem.